Welcome back to Mainly Everything, my name is John. Today we're going to be looking at a Coleman 27-piece all-purpose first aid kit. This thing's tiny, that's why I bought it. Um, tells you in the back there exactly what's in it, but I don't like looking at that. I'd rather open the kit. So, reason I bought this. Tiny pocket first aid kits are handy. Um, uh, as you can, as you guys, any of some of you who've been watching the channel for a bit have seen, I keep the little uh, Adventure Medical Kits first aid kit in my bag. And I've been looking for something smaller um, in my tool bag. I've been looking for something smaller, so I'm just kind of interested in what kind of mini, quote-unquote, mini first aid kits kind of keep in them. So, first off, sting relief pads, um, BZK antiseptic towelettes, one, they always go overboard on these, I feel like, two, three, all right, triple antibiotic ointment, two of them. Actually, what is this stuff, actually? I want to double check. It is bacitracin. Okay. Let's see. Couple of band-aids. Six band-aids, normal size. Um, and let me see. Come on. Couple of the knuckle band-aids, two of them. A razor blade, which I'm kind of unsure as to why. Um, two different size... What do they call it? Needles. And, yeah. So, four of these tiny band-aids. Little, 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 little baby ones. Two of these... I don't actually know what these are. If these are like nose strips or kind of like a Z-strip type thing. Like a closure type thing. They could be. What does the what does the thing say? Uh, small bandages, I guess. Um, so I don't like this already. I don't understand this, really. I mean, for a splinter or something, I guess. But this is also kind of big for a splinter. Um, actually, it would have been nice if instead of these. They could have given you something like this. Um, these things are kind of neat. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen these, but they're called Splinter Out. Tells you where to tear. I'll open one. Um, they're very cheap. And this is what they are. So they are just a little piece of metal with a very pointy tip. They are sterile out of the package, so you don't have to worry about getting infections or whatever. Um, and they do work pretty well. Um, I've got a few splinters out with them. Again, it's just like a piece of almost like pot metal, like a tin can metal almost. Um, they do work well, though. Um, but I don't really like mini first aid kits. I kind of have a problem with them. Um, first of all, it should be called like a mini ouchie booboo kit. But I, I feel like people always, they always stress these and alcohol prep pads and stuff like that. And there doesn't really seem to be much of like good in here. I'm not trying to crap on it entirely. There is good stuff in here. I mean, band-aids and stuff like that. Um, are good, and I guess sting relief pads, I guess, it's good for what it's for, um, I shouldn't crap on it, but I have another one coming, so this is going to be a two-part video, um, so I'll just, I'll cut to that, and I'll, that, I'm going to be recording that segment tomorrow, and I'll tell you guys how I feel about it afterwards, but, I mean, it's better than nothing, absolutely better than nothing, anything's better than nothing, so... Yeah, but there it is, um, cheap on Amazon, seven bucks, I think, but anyways, I'll cut to that tomorrow, bye-bye. Welcome back, we're going to take a look at another one here, this is the Ready America First Aid Pocket Kit, 33 pieces compared to 27, it says it's good for car, travel, outdoors, and home. Nifty. So... Tiny comparison here, very tiny. Um, contents right there, okay. First aid guide, look at that. Does it have any decent information in it? Animal bites, bee sinks, bleeding, sunburn, cleaning, damaging wound. Emergency phone numbers, 911. <clears throat> Ibuprofen, that's neat. So, pills, 
pills. Aspirin, ibuprofen, acetaminophen, there's two in each. Um, aspirin is 325 milligrams a piece. Ibuprofen is two. And acetaminophen is going to be five. Yep. Um, we got some antibiotic ointment, first aid, um, fast tracing again, antiseptic towelettes. More of these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Um, one of these little band-aids. One of these kind of square spot band-aids. Mm. We got five, ten little band-aids, I guess. No, kind of rectangular, rectagonal. Oh, these are the easy pull ones too. I don't really like these. Uh, I had trouble with them. It could also just be because I'm stupid, but um, I like just a standard Band-Aid. I like the Band-Aid brand Band-Aid. Um, and then six regular Band-Aids. So yeah, cool. Um, I like this one had pills in it. What did this one substitute again? Uh, I had, this one had safety pins and a razor blade in it, which I don't understand. Um, had some more Band-Aids in it. Had sting relief pads. I like the, I, I like the pills better in them. Get you out of pinch. I would have liked to see I or Benadryl in here too, or diphenhydramine instead of or with something. Um, but yeah, pretty neat. Um, this guy I think was more expensive. Um, I think this was like ten bucks or it was around. They were both around the same amount, like eight bucks or so. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, let me let me know what you guys think. Uh, I was thinking about doing like a one of the kind of like OSHA approved kits uh, or the ANSI ones um, because I really do think they suck for what they are. Um, I, I don't, I don't like my work. We have them in, in, in our vehicles and in our shop and stuff like that. And when I mean, you're working with table saws and stuff like that, and you don't have a tourniquet, you don't have any wound packing material. You don't have any actual like heavy or thick compressed gauze or anything like that. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think if you're interested at all in that. Um, this is kind of just something I'm interested in. I'm interested in stuff like this. And But um, I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. Um, 80 subscribers now, which is awesome. Thank you guys for subscribing. Um, and way more views than I ever thought I'd have. Um, so I really do appreciate it. Um, again, I like, I like talking to you guys. I like comments. I like ideas. I like... You know, I like everything. Um, so throw comments at me, throw questions at me, um, whatever else. I appreciate it. Bye bye, guys.